Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. Now, first things first, uh, you may notice the new logo I got right here. And that's thanks to one of my subscribers who goes by the name of Aaron, who emailed it to me today. I much appreciate it. I absolutely love it. In fact, I'm going to start using it in my uh, intros from this point on. And uh, yeah, I'm going to try to incorporate that as soon as I can. So thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Very good work right there. Speaking of work, let's just go ahead and switch the narrative to a frauditor who probably has no job and probably hasn't really worked a day in her life. So she's probably resorted to this uh, frauding gig, which takes us to Santa Bernardino, California, if I pronounce that right, where we find this moronic frauditor trying all the frauditor tricks of the trade, only to find herself getting arrested fairly quickly. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. No. Okay. Do you notice how close she is in this video? She's got to be, uh, well, five, less than 10 feet away from these officers who are clearly conducting a traffic stop or something to that nature at this point. And uh, they do ask her to step back a few feet so they don't have to worry about her. But of course, she's going to do the frauditor thing and uh, refuse to move and everything like that. So, you know, there's gonna be trouble. Now let's take a listen to what this officer said and compare it to what her title is on her video and see if there may be a discrepancy in what's going on here. Yeah, yeah, certainly seems like a little bit of a discrepancy to me right there. In other words, you were lying in your title right there, saying that you were arrested because you were filming. Uh, no. You were arrested for something else. Something we will find out soon enough. I got to stand over there. Yeah, you're a little too close. Can I please have you stand over there? Hello? Can you back up, please? You're impeding our investigation. Impeding is physical. Are you sure about that? Uh, because, well, if you are like any other frauditor or soft hard, you're going to go buy Black's Law Dictionary and impede doesn't say anything about it being exclusively physical. So drop that out of your uh, mind right there and Get into the real world. Impeding is physical. Okay, but you're too close, okay? As, as, I'm okay right here. If you no, you're not. Back, I will place you in handcuffs and put you in my car. You will? Yes, I will. So I'm asking you respectfully. You're going to open up a lawsuit. That's fine. Yeah, show them what you're going to do with that fictitious, frivolous lawsuit that's never going to amount to anything because you frauditors rarely ever file one. And if you do file one, well, it gets laughed out of court. I will ask you What's your name and badge number? Officer Abbott, 51045. What's your name and badge number, yeah, sir? You're not even related to this. Can you please go stand over there? I don't care if you report. You're just a little too close. There, like there, is no dif there is no distance. There is no distance. Okay, guys, this guy's about to put hands, hands on me. He's about to put hands on me right now. Can you please put your hands behind your back? No. Okay, so now you're resisting then. Oh, I'm not resisting because. Right, because. Oh my still gosh. Still recording. Still recording. That's fine. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! I'm being detained for what crime? For resisting. I'm no, resisting is a physical thing, sir. And again, Black's Law Dictionary, which again, you soft hard and frauditors like to quote all the time, doesn't exactly uh, 
back you up on this either, nor does this California statute right here. So you may want to try actually developing a better coherent argument that actually holds water rather than this BS that you came up with on the spot because that might actually help you out in a court if you uh, well are actually a chili de Castro trained law scholar uh, lawyer or whatever but even then if you're from his uh, law school you've got a 99.999% chance that you will end up losing the case and and that uh, other 0.1% that uh, is left is pretty much well just a margin of error that doesn't exactly bode well in your favor either because it still means you'll lose the case oh my gosh I'm being put in handcuffs for no reason You're hurting me! What crime did I commit? What crime have I committed? What crime have I committed? What crime have I committed? I'm engaged in a constitutional protective activity! No, you were engaged in a frauding activity where you were interfering with their investigation. They didn't care if you were filming them. They said that several times throughout your little video right here. In fact, all you had to do was step back maybe two or three feet and they would have left you alone because you would have been out of their uh, investigation bubble over there. But no, you just had to interfere with them. So if you're looking for a reason why you got arrested, all you have to do is take a look in a mirror and you'll see the reason. I and you. I am being detained for no crime. Are you gonna let me speak? Or are you gonna I am being detained for no crime. Are you I, am, if I am. Are you gonna you're hurting me. You're hurting me. I am recording. Okay. I am recording. It's my First Amendment right to record in a public area. You're right. And I am being detained for no crime. Can I explain something to you? Or you I am you being know? detained okay. for no crime. That's fine. Let's walk this way, man. Where's my phone? Right here. I have it right there. here. Okay. Yeah, I have it. I am being detained for no crime for recording. Okay. I was recording my First Amendment right, and he is detaining me for nothing. He is detaining me for no crime and putting me. You about to have a lawsuit. You about to have a lawsuit. You about to have a lawsuit. Okay. You about to have a lawsuit, officer. No. Abbott, you want to have a lawsuit, Officer Rodriguez? I'm engaging in a First Amendment constitutional activity, okay. and I am being detained for what crime? Resisting. Resisting is physical. I'm, I'm struck. No, it's not. It's, it's no. impeding my investigation. It's physical. Can I, it is it, physical. Is it my turn to explain it to you? Impeding is physical. Okay. Can I speak now, or are you going to interrupt me? Impeding is physical. Okay. When I I'm, have committed no crime. When I'm doing, when I am conducting a okay. First Amendment You're not audit me speak? on a public okay. sidewalk. It's not illegal. There is no piece, time please. frame. There is no nothing. There is no. Get over, please, I'm I'm paying. I'm being arrested for no crime committed. Okay. I'm yeah. Come on now, lady. Uh, you act as if being a First Amendment auditor grants you special rights and privileges above anybody else in this world, which it does not. It is a made-up occupation by people who well just hate everybody and everything they have arrest records they have a chip on their shoulder they want to uh, be an anarchist and uh, just cause chaos which is all i ever see you uh, frauditors do is go into areas and disrupt that is why states are creating laws to curtail your BS. And you know what? You only have yourselves to blame. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next one.
Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?